if x is equal to 3y, work out all the angles and lengths of this triangle ABC. I would start by working out all the angles. So we know x is equal to 3y, so we can replace the x with 3y. The sum of all the angles of a triangle is 180 degrees. So make 116 degrees plus 3y plus y equal to 180 degrees. We can add the y's together to give us 4y. Subtract 116 degrees from both sides and then you are left with 4y is equal to 64 degrees. If you isolate the y, divide both sides by 4 and then you will have y is equal to 16 degrees. Angle C, which is y, will then be 16 degrees and angle B is 3y. If you multiply 3 by 16, it will be 48. So angle B is 48 degrees. Write down the angles in this triangle. Now we can work out the side lengths. We have to use the sine rule if we want to work out the length BC. We have the opposite angle, which is 116 degrees, and we also have the length AB and its opposite angle. The sine rule looks like this. For a more in-depth explanation on the sine and the cosine rule, visit my channel. Substitute your values into your equation, then isolate side BC, multiply both sides by sine of 116 degrees. If you type 10 over sine of 16 degrees multiplied by sine of 116 degrees into your calculator, you'll get 32.6078 meters. If you were to round it off to two decimals, you have 32.61 meters. To work out the last length of this triangle, you can use the cosine or the sine rule. To keep things interesting, I'm going to use the cosine rule this time around. To use the cosine rule, you need two side lengths and an angle between them. The length that we want to work out is the opposite side of the 48 degree angle. The cosine rule takes this form. Substitute your values into this formula and isolate for AC. Take the square root of both sides to cancel out the exponent of AC and type this into your calculator. You will then get 26.9609 meters and round it off to two decimals, it's 26.96 meters. And there you have all the lengths and angles for this triangle ABC. Thank you for watching.